Hello and welcome. Buses. They are seen by some as the very existence of human nature, and to others, they are just an awkward necessity. In this programme, we shall be examining and exploring the ways in which buses influence and affect your everyday life. We aim to increase your understanding, helping you to decide which bus to catch or whether to catch a bus at all. The range of size, age and shape of buses in service in your community is immense. There are single-deckers, double-deckers, open tops, minis, low riders and all of these in their own distinctive paraphernalia. Catching a bus may be something that you're considering or maybe you're on a journey at the moment or have been in the past. One thing, however, is clear. At some point in our lives, we will all give them a go. Catching a bus is not as easy as it first might seem. They are periodically erratic and unpunctual, and you might be waiting at a bus stop for a long period of time. Then, would you believe it, several buses turn up at once. Once you've hopped onto a bus, you need to take stock of the general condition of the vehicle. Check out any other passengers and have a good look around for any hidden baggage. Too much hidden baggage can cause friction later on in your journey and will ultimately affect the comfort of your ride. There are sometimes other areas to the bus which you must explore. It's best not to discover later something which would have stopped you from getting on the bus in the first place. The length, time and duration of your journey will depend upon you choosing whether to leave the bus or by the bus stopping at its final destination. At this point, it appears that there is nowhere left to go and you'll have to decide whether to stick with the bus or to leave and look for another. Heed my advice, taxis are a useful commodity in the right hands and if you're after a direct journey with little hassle then these are ideal. However, they are expensive and there is unlikely to be a long distance aspect to your journey in this type of transport. You have been warned. What is it that you are looking for? Consider what your ideal journey distance would be. Is it a one-way ticket or a return journey that you're after? You may consider purchasing a travel card, which would indicate your frequency of use and your willingness to hop on and off several buses in a short period of time. A useful tip would be to note 
bus numbers and avoid the ones that you've previously travelled on, as you will soon realise why you left or worse still be dropped off again. Out of service buses are just not interested, so please don't waste your time. Above all, enjoy your journeys and stay safe in your travels. Goodbye.